So this is the video from January 12, 2019. This is for a court date where I had to take a plea bargain from the Commonwealth Attorney's Office in Norfolk, Virginia. Um, even though I was in another state, and this proves I was in another state, along with bank statements, gas receipts, timelines. Here's the video that shows I was in Alabama. I was actually in Dothan, I think that's how you say it, Dothan, Alabama, or Duthan. Um, um, I actually told Judge Wilcox where I was, and um, I actually still went to jail. You believe this shit? This is what happens when you listen to an attorney who tells you to take a plea deal that it'll get you out of something. Yep. I had to do one day in jail. The The Commonwealth Attorney of Virginia was actually trying to give me six months. I told him no to bite me. He told me four months. I said no. He said three so months. I said we no. Then he told me he wanted me to do six weekends. And I told him no. Then he said, how about four weekends? I said, how about kiss my because ass? Because my attorney started and I couldn't find it because she made a little star next to it. So then the Commonwealth attorney said, well, how about just do uh, two weekends? And I said, how about fuck you? So then uh, my attorney, Nikki Bailey, says, well, go ahead and just so take the one the day. We were looking for court. I can't tell. And I'm shocked that Nikki Bailey even asked me to do such a thing that tells me that uh, she really didn't have any confidence in her own case, at which I'm shocked because I had nothing but the highest expectations for my attorney. And this is what I ended so up with. And it's on my record. You believe this shit? It's actually on my fucking record that I have. And I have an assault charge um, from inside the courthouse as well that Doris Devine said that I assaulted her inside the courtroom to be. So that's on my record, too. Virginia all fucking night. So this is what I've been going through with the Commonwealth of Virginia. The judges and the courts and the Commonwealth Attorney's Office all need to be investigated. So do the prosecuting attorney, uh, not the prosecuting attorney, what do they call them, uh, where they give you an attorney, <clears throat> but I was smart enough to actually hire my own, which you see where that fucking got me to, because I hired uh, Nikki Bailey, Bobby Hallett, you know, I mean, I understand that a bunch of my charges were dismissed and dropped, but I shouldn't even have spent not one fucking day in jail at all. Because these motherfuckers lied so fucking much on court documents. And the Commonwealth Attorney's Office in the state of Virginia has not even charged Doris Devine or Timothy Organ with not one perjury charge. <clears throat> Neither have the judges, for that matter. And not one of the judges has even tried to file charges on Timothy Organ or Doris Devine. They not have held, um, they not even held the Commonwealth Attorney's Office responsible for any of my charges or anything. So, yeah, it was buffering. Um, so, I'm trying to figure out how any of this happens to somebody. Um, I've ended up with severe medical issues over all the stress and uh, everything that I've had to go through. Um, not just uh, the stress and the depression and the anxiety and the suicide uh, attempts and things like that that has pushed me so far over the edge but my house being set on fire didn't fucking help anything so I keep getting sicker and sicker because nobody will listen because nobody gives a flying fuck and I don't give a damn if anybody likes my language or not because I don't give a shit because this is what I've been through and uh, like I said you know, the courts in Norfolk and the police officers and the deputies and Sheriff Joe Barron, you know. I mean, Joe's ass needs to be thrown in fucking jail, too. Because I had asked repeatedly for copies of the videos from inside the courthouse, the courtroom, things that could exonerate my charges, um, especially the assault charge, and uh, things like this. Things just like this. And uh, it could have all been avoided. And nobody would do a damn thing to lift a finger to do their fucking jobs. TC and Doris couldn't be honest enough to tell the truth that I wasn't even here. And TC putting me through all this? You little lying fuck. 
should have been honest enough to tell somebody you were married after being with them for two years. You gotta wait until two months before our wedding for me to find out that you're fucking married, you piece of shit. This is why I won't uh, go out with no 